Hey, before this video gets started, I'd like to ask you to do me a favor. If you find yourself watching this video, and obviously you have because you can hear this, if you decide for whatever reason to nope out of this video before it finishes, and I mean like well before it finishes, like before the halfway mark or at any point, like you decide to like to leave before it's done, do me this favor and leave a comment down below explaining exactly why you're leaving. If it's my voice, if it's the audio, like the audio quality, if it's the co-host voice, if the video is just boring, doesn't matter what it is. Like even if it's like, well, I suddenly had to poop and I had to leave. Like it doesn't matter what it is. Just tell me what it is down below, because I'm trying to boost audience retention, and I feel the only way to really do that is by having the audience tell me what's making them lose retention. So enjoy the show. So that wasn't necessarily, this wasn't intentional. Uh, when I told you I couldn't do this, I, I hadn't lowered the difficulty. And like, it's a lot easier, but that first area was a, a pain in the nutsack. Uh, also, that's loud. Let me turn this down. There we go. Um, but that being said, we are, uh, I am on level 59 now. I need 49. What did I say, 59? Yeah. <laughs> I won't say that I've been having fun, but there is something about, uh, grinding that is pleasant. When you have Yeah, just the, the mindless, like, yeah, when you but have definitely. when you have something else to do more specifically, like I've been listening yeah. to like I bought a new CD, so I listen to my I listen to a CD, and then I listen to music, and then I listen to some YouTube videos, and I got really angry because I was trying to watch uh, some uh, the show on Hulu, and I couldn't because Hulu apparently had fucked up, and I couldn't sign in, so I got memed. And by this, I mean, I tried to sign in for Hulu on my uh, on my laptop, and it said like the, the password or email, da 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 da, you know that nonsense. And I'm like, okay, maybe I forgot because I remember what the password was. 
I remember there was this issue like that uh, Disney, Disney Plus and Hulu were like, hey, we're just going to use the same password for both accounts. Like, it's just one login for everything. And I was like, okay. So I had to go change the password again. And I literally got hit with the whole, your new password can't be the same as the old password. And I was just baffled. And I was only, and I really didn't want to change my password in general. Because I knew that if I did that, I had to re-log in to Hulu on my phone. Which is what ended up happening. Only for my fucking phone to be like, sorry, we can't log you in. So, like, for like an hour, I was just mad. I might be hungry. I don't know yet. I have food to cook. It, it could be a lot of factors, just... Yeah, because I got mad. I got mad because it was, it was more complicated than it needed to be. And there's just something about that specifically that... Like, I can't stress to you enough, like, I'm only doing this so that when I do go back to, uh, grinding this out, I can get that one weapon slot open again at the blacksmith. Because the last thing in the game that, uh, like, for the blacksmith, I have to defeat the arch illager on Swapalit so I can get that third slot open. And I don't know what dictates what, uh, the well, damn. I don't know what dictates, uh, why I have to do it on the first place. I don't understand in general what it takes to, uh, I don't know what about a weapon changes what I have to do to, um, get the thing. To, like, like, give me a second. What I'm trying to say is every weapon requires a certain uh, thing to do. Shut up. Um, so, like, most of them have just been, like, beat three uh, missions. That's it. And then suddenly, like, that one was like, no, beat three missions on Apocalypse difficulty to upgrade this. And I'm like, why is this one so special? Why is it special, Mark? You don't know. I'm not asking you for reason. I got weak. And I got the new difficulty. Cool. Oh, man. I guess I can add that into the five minutes. Cool. Whatever. Uh. So now I can beat Edwin. Uh. Uh, I have to do four missions before both slots are unlocked. Either. Um, do you want to keep grinding? Like, what's the, what's, sure. okay, I'm, I'm going to change the difficulty back to adventure. Uh, we were doing it on Apocalypse the last time I was playing. Well, no, I need to finish another adventure difficulty to get uh, my dancers thing out. So, like, if I don't, like, we, I basically, we ha I have to do this. Like, I have to do this. And, like, this won't take time, like, take long at all. Now it's 82. Now again, I don't know what the uh and like oh like yeah, by all means if you wanna fucking Oh, they were they were both already 82. Okay, so I am curious because I'm gonna let you like I'm gonna let you walk me through it and see what happens. I'm gonna see what ha I'm, I'm curious first and foremost. With, I need more help. Yeah. So I don't know if it's a matter of once he's upgraded the item, he can only upgrade it so many times. I don't know if he can only upgrade it so many times or if he can only, or if like once you've upgraded it, the next time you upgrade it, you have to up the difficulty on the game. Yeah, I think at a certain point, I think that's what it is. Like once you reach a certain threshold of power, you have to do apocalypse.
Now, I'm not going to put it on the hardest for Apocalypse. Cause again, it doesn't seem to matter. It doesn't seem to matter what difficulty I beat the stage on. It seems to only matter that... Uh, again, because the range that, like, you can get from any level of difficulty, like, it's pretty wide. So, like, the RNG is not on your side. Like, ever, nah, so... No. Nah. Because, like, even this, like, this is within my range. And I, like, because, like... Because, like, the, uh, what was it? Like, when we did the artillery fight, this, this thing... I was within the level requirement to, uh... For, like, the highest difficulty on it on an adventure. And... No. Like, dude at the very beginning of the stage gave me the business. Like, the mark, the business was passed down to me. Like, like, like an heirloom. I don't know, like, is it, I, that's not how it works. But you know what I mean. Uh, I am also recording this run through because I am probably like 97% of the way to 50. So that trophy's gonna pop from me. Also, and then all you have said, left is the, uh, Well, that's the thing. The, in theory, we could be done today. Yeah, that that's the thing. That's what I was hoping for, is that we could just be done yeah. and never have to think about this just, uh, again. Yeah. ever. Because I'm pretty sure I have enough... Uh, we'll I try to divide and conquer? No, right, or we're not? No, oh, okay. You know what? Yeah, sure, why? Worst case scenario, you beat through all of those dudes and, you know... You'll be here Come to save my ass. Yeah. As long as, like, the thing that was last time, it was a bunch of fucking, uh... There's a bunch of Witches. Fucking, uh, yeah, well, there's level 50. So, there's that, there's, there's, there's that problem. Yeah, like, I'm, like, I'm doing okay. I died. Yeah. I'm doing okay, I'm dead. Weekly challenge complete, travel without touching the ground. Skips. Oh, I guess they mean rolling? This just might be it. For those wondering, this just might be the last. And it's gonna be just like, uh, not Banjo-Kazooie, because Banjo-Kazooie had a bonus episode. It was episode 21. So this just might be another, like, a fucking Saturday video where, like, it's the last one. It's done. Like, it's the platinum, and we're, we're going home. Like, that's it. Like, we don't want to do this anymore. Because I say if we, uh, at the very least, I don't know. Well, we're, I ain't worried about that. Because I think, like, this week is the last week for, um, Minecraft. No one, well, liked, no. no one liked this game. So, did I, uh, did I explain to you what happened with, uh, uh, Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong? No, we have not, we have not. Would you like to know? I would love to know. There's nothing else to talk about. Uh, so the way, the way it works is apparently it copyrighted, it copyright struck some of the songs, but not all of them. And it didn't necessarily copyright the song. It copyright, it copy, well, it identified the melody of the song, which honestly makes no sense to me. You know what I mean? Yeah, that that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Cause that's like saying like you could just hum the song and. But yeah, but you clearly can't. But you can't. Like you can't hum the song. Give me a second. But there it is. No, it's not that one. The other one. It's not that combination. It's all the ones in the middle. No, it's not that one. Come on. No, there it is. Like, I figured out how it kind of works. But it doesn't seem like that's going to matter. Because I don't think I'll 
after this stage, because again, I can just follow you through the artillery shit, because I have no, dis I don't want to keep playing this. No but shit, I'm But I'm going to keep picking up stuff because, you know. I found the level 84 phantom armor. I got a level 85 phantom armor for phantom armor. Wow. Phantom. So, you know. Life is, life is moving up. Life is getting better. Oh, so yeah, it only copyright struck the melodies because all the songs in that game are covered. Uh, the songs that it, it copyright struck were We Will Rock You, uh, It's the Impression That I Get, um, oh, fuck, give me a second, uh, Shining Star and You Can't Hurry Love. But there are, like, every song in the game is a copywritten song. Every single song is a, like, professionally written, recorded, and, like, played song. You feel me? Mm -hmm. But it just wow. chose specific ones. Yeah, because it's a 30-minute video, because I wanted to, like, I picked and choose, like, which one would be, like, the most... Likely yeah. to be, like... Yeah, kind of sort of. Yeah, kind of sort of. I just kind of, like, went through. Okay, so let's real quick... Um, boom, and a boom, and a boom. Okay, let's see. I don't know if I will be able to. Uh, enchant all of these. Oh, not, not even close. Oh, wait. So, no, I will still have to play the game for quite a bit. Because I'm going to have to keep leveling up. Just to be able to, uh... Just to be able to, uh, enchant stuff. So I can tell you now. I don't. I can't tell you exactly like how many. If I give you this and you break it down, will I get the? No, I probably won't. Yeah, you, you won't. It 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 doesn't It was a it was a nice thought though. We wanted way too much in that in that in that very specific moment. Never had to knock on wood, and I'm glad I haven't yet, because I'm sure it isn't good. That's the impression that I... Do you want to try to beat the Archillager again? Yeah, go for it. We don't have to do it on the hardest difficulty, though, because... No. At this point, like, it's just... I'm still too low level for it. Leveling up. Like, yeah. at this point, it's just, we gotta level up. Which is all good because it just means that I can still, I can go back to like lower difficulties and still just play the game like in my downtime. Because the only thing that's left is getting those, getting those uh, doodads. Which I mean, we can do levels we haven't done just because. Yeah, because I'm not like you know farming. The arch at this point. I mean, the I'm still like I guess like in my downtime I will be playing the game. Make haste and fight your way. As, you know, I'll, I'll hit him when I can hit him. I'll try not to die too long. Boy, look at the damage they do. If I can kill one guy, I'll just... Well, I don't need to kill him. I just need to hurt him. I killed the guy. I'm happy. I've done more than I needed to do. That dude's having a struggle. So yeah, um, so like Donkey Kong, I, we, we can play it. Well, I can play it rather. Uh, and it doesn't seem like it does. Although they did have copyright strikes, none of the copyright strikes were detrimental to the health of the channel. Mind you, I didn't upload them to this channel. I uploaded them to my main, my, uh, my personal channel. Because that's where, yeah. the, that's where the garbage goes. Funnily enough, that's where though. the, the tests go. Well, yeah, yeah, effectively. 
the uh the the, the WWE uh footage that me and Yabrell did where we were basically just kinda like learning about 2K22. That got copyright struck to hell and back. The amount of like copywritten songs and I'm not Hold on. Yeah, it's good. They they actually hurt me for a second. Um it's only I, I only find it like kinda of funny that like there are that many games now that still um, use like copyrighted music, but they understand that you know a good chunk of people are gonna make content out of this, or even if it's like one person making content out of it, somebody's making content out of it. Which I'll say that most games nowadays like have, have a streamer-friendly option, like yeah. where you can like turn off the copyright. Yeah. Which Still. is cool. Which is cool, but I still feel like I don't know. Like, like, did you know that uh, 2K got sued over uh, in-game models? I didn't know. Apparently, like, because like, not just like for uh, wrestling games, but for their basketball games as well. If you use a real-life person, like, 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 so you can assume like, like, Jack has tattoos or. There are people who have tattoos, yeah? Mm -hmm. Apparently, uh, tattoo artists got really pissy when they saw that their tattoos had been recreated in-game. So apparently that's illegal. Because it's, it's quote-unquote stealing their artwork. Well, I... My issue with that look is if they went out of their way to like credit the artist, that'd be more like acceptable. Cause like, then that's just free advertising. If you ask me, I guess you could. But let's be honest, Mark. The credit for the people who put the whole game together have been in games since like what the 2000s, since the at least since the N64 era, right? Mm -hmm. Well, actually, since, since the SNES version. We don't fucking care. Dude, do you? Have fair. you watched all the credits? I can't remember what game it was, but one of the games that we finished in the past, in the past half a year, the credit sequence was so fucking long. Like, oh my. And we, we couldn't skip it. Yeah, no, I, I know. Like, but, and then, then we just had to entertain ourselves by pointing out the it, funny names. I think it might have been, it might have been Ragnarok. Like, I don't remember what it was, but it was like, there, there was just so much. Uh, like, yeah, obviously. I don't, like, I don't think they're supposed to be on that side of the wall. Uh, I think there's people probably behind us that we just got. Oh. And I'm not saying that, like, I understand, but I understand that as an artist, if you do work, like, you. You want to be compensated for it, and you want to. Well, that's yeah. the thing. You've already been compensated for it. When they paid for the tattoo. That's kind of the issue I have with that. Is that, like, I don't think that they have the right to be upset. Because you created the tattoo in theory, but you sold the art to the person who you hurt to, to give the art to. Cause yeah, because that's like, the, that's the weird thing is like someone like if someone is paying that much attention to the artwork like that's on this player or whatever like and they look at it and they're like I really like that you could probably look at the the socials of that that player yeah and see who the tattoo artist who did the tattoo was or even if you can't it's completely irrelevant at that point I feel like at the end of the day like as as the as the Let's just say, let's say I'm watching like I'm watching the NBA game. If I follow an NBA player and I want to like get a copy of his tattoo, there's a chance that that tattoo is on his social. There's a chance because like let's say, well, my nephew has Dragon Ball Z tattoo, right? Like so mm -hmm. the idea of like well he would be from the game for whatever reason, and they wanted to like actually recreate his uh, tattoo. Like, the Kiri Toriyama would be like, no, I don't want my art to do your thing. And it's like, but this is the thing. I've already paid money to have this. It's not yours anymore. Like, I like, like I feel like you could say, like, screenshots. I mean, I guess you could argue that, like, if I pay for a comic book, then theory, the art in the comic book is now mine. 
and I can do what I want to. I argue that like you're halfway right. If I buy a DVD, if I buy a movie, and I'm like, this is mine now, and if I'm like, I'm gonna give a copy to Mark, like I can give you a copy of the fucking movie because it's my movie. Now if oh, I wait, sell it, you know, well, it's, it's it's a way, but it's not the way to get to the the cheese. Never had to knock on wood. I'm not a tattoo artist and I don't have tattoos, so in theory, I don't have an opinion. I don't have the right to an opinion, at least as as a lot of these people nowadays, uh, how, how they would feel about it. Because I don't have the right to, to care as much as I do. But I will say that I think it's kind of dumb to be like, hey, I, I, I well, I'm going to say like straight up it's dumb, but I would say that it's dumb and it's dumb because I feel like tattoo art, like, tat, like people getting tattoos, if I was to get a tattoo and I was like, hey, if, if I put this on social media, are you going to be like, you know, bitchy about not being tagged in it? If you say yes, I'm, I'm going to go to another art. Because I just don't want to have to go okay, to so that. Here's the thing, is like, if your fear is that like someone else is going to look at this uh, tattoo and be like, I really want that tattoo, I'm going to go see a different artist and like get that, art get that tattoo. If, if, if that artist, like, has like any integrity and like doesn't want to like be that type of person like that's on them at that point that's not about the consumer the the I, artist the tattoo artist like said but i don't live in okay LA. but given yeah. where, where both of us live neither one of us live in a city that has a major nba like i yeah. don't like we don't so like if i was to see like i don't know who's, like if i was to look at one of lebron's tattoos there's a good chance that lebron didn't he didn't like mm -hmm. cheap out. LeBron probably got like, like spent big money to get a really nice tattoo from a very specific place. And I really feel like that like we are in a like the uh, I guess the, the social climate that we exist in is very much a, like well if you can't afford to go to get the art done by that specific person, you don't deserve to have the art. And if you feel that way, go fuck yourself and die because you fuck suck. Like, like real talk, like, like the amount of people who care that much, it's a very small number of people. Like yeah. EA probably, if EA could have told those people to go fuck themselves, they would have legally, if they could have like not had to worry about the, uh, the office, like the chance of getting sued for real, for real, they probably would have told the people to go fuck themselves because the, the idea as a whole is fucking dumb. It's like, well, I did that art and you didn't pay me to have it in your game. It's like, no, of course I didn't. Because I paid the motherfucker who has it on his skin to be in the game. It's like, I'm paying him to have his likeness. This is his likeness. Because by all means, I could just not have your tattoos in the game. But that would kind of destroy the, destroy the uh, I don't know, I don't know what I like Authenticity. The, uh, yeah, the authenticity of the experience for the people that we're making this game for. So... Because it's like you're playing with Shaq and he doesn't have any of his, like his uh, Superman, Superman tattoos. tattoos. Yeah, like... But that's who Shaq is. And I mean, like, honestly, like, the fact that we can even have this conversation is proof where we as, like, where we've gotten as far as games are concerned. Because if this was, like, I'd say even PS3 era, like, the tattoos would just be... You know, blobs. Yeah, like little black squigglies. But like the fact that we've gotten to the point where, like the t the tattoos can be so. Uh, I can't clear. tell where this. That's not the right way. I think the right way is up. I'm gonna go search. There's well, people. There's people. Yeah, oh, there's people. I think it is over here. Might be. I really can't tell you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's through this little way because every time I go away from the door, it, it's like. Okay, now. It's not that way. Yeah, no. But again, I don't, I don't, I'm, I don't do tattoo art. I don't do any of that. So by all means, I'm not in the. I don't have the the right, I guess, to have the opinion. But I do think that if you're that kind of like tattoo artist, I think you're a prick. But, like, that's my personal opinion. And if you hate me for having that opinion, that's, that's your right. I'm not mad at you. 
Go ahead, be mad. Like, call me a piece of shit. Like, I'm a piece of shit thing in your purse. That's okay. Some more, uh, some more, like, hot take art takes. Uh, how do you feel about AI art? Uh, they can't do hands. They sure can. But uh, then again, most of them can't do hands. Hands are incredible. Because again, like, that's the, that's the issue is that they're fed information from other artists, artists so like... So if... So AI art, AI anything is a representation of us. Yeah, like it's so, it's just fed information from other artists and so if does it its best to like hands, replicate it. We can't draw him. Yeah. That's a thing. I don't like that. I don't know why that upsets me. It, it's, it's only as good as the information you give it. Yeah, that's right. And I do think that the idea of people thinking, well, we can just use AI to like replicate like movie scripts and stuff. I don't know that I like. I don't know if that's a thing. Like I don't know if. I don't know if AI could genuinely replicate the idea of what it is. AI can replicate the idea of a movie that we've already made, but it can't. It can't compensate for where we are now. Does that make yeah, sense? Yeah, because the fact that like they've been trying to do like AI generated like Family Guy episodes and SpongeBob and all that good stuff and like the stuff it turns out is, is the recycled. It, it, Recycled bit. It's, it's not even just that. It's just like, it becomes just like, garbage meme culture. Like, if you just watch even ten minutes of uh, AI generated SpongeBob, it will make you as unhappy as I assume it will. Yeah. Because like honestly, as soon as you said, if you just watch, I was already. Gone. Uh, cause, cause here in Spongebob talk about Logan Paul and, and how he feels about him boxing and beating up people. Oh man. It's something. I still don't like Logan Paul. Or his brother or that black dude that he hangs out with. Cause I love that Logan Paul has his one black friend. Then again, I have my one white friend. Well, I don't have one white friend. I will say his prime drink though, it, it's good. It tastes like bananas. Banana Mostly because it. Them. All of them basically taste like bananas because they're all full of acid. Like, it, he, he, he talks about like how much uh, extra electrolytes are in it, but he doesn't specify what the electrolyte is. It's awesome. So it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's for, it's for, uh, uh, Oh my god. It's for workout. It's for drinking it. But that's the wild, you know what the wild thing about that is? That's what Gatorade is for. Gatorade is for people yeah. who have in the, oh, I'm on. It's for people who've, uh, dang! It's for people who've been working out or sweating a lot. And it replaces the things that you really, really sweat. The majority of people who drink Gatorade do not drink it for that reason at all. It's just something the ground to drink. Yeah, it's tasty. Are they cooking? That was problematic, apparently. Well, I got weather on them. Fucking AI. AI art. AI art is just, I think... I think it's a toy. I think that's what it, it, it was from the beginning. And I shut up. And I think that's what it should have always been. So that's the high treason trophy. Trophy. Fuck. Defeat the Arch Illager on Apocalypse Difficulty. Maxed out. Uh, yep, that's it. That's, uh... All everything left is uh, maxed out and geared up. Equip a gear set consisting of fully enchanted items. Three enchantment slot upgrades. Upgraded to level three. But that was a whole episode, though. Like, it was 24 minutes. That's how long that took. We Shock. actually talked about things, because we didn't have to think about what we were doing. Never had to knock on wood, and I'm glad I haven't. Well, I got a level 89 broadsword. I got some stuff. Like, I can't stress to you that, I can't stress that enough. I got some stuff. And, like, we need to do at least one more mission on Apocalypse. 
difficulty. Uh, I'm gonna. I guess we should stop here because there's gonna be stuff that's added to the video. It won't be that long. Either way, uh, I, we didn't expect to record today at all because I was just hanging out doing my thug fizzle. Uh, but until next time, I'm gonna need y'all to get out. Go on now, scat.